Yo, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Adi Bisa Kemi, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Agameta. Agameta is a Nollywood Yoruba movie produced by Motilola Odunlami and directed by Fatai Iziak. The storyline revolves around four couples. In the first family, the husband is Akpa, like a prodigal son. The husband is always using his wife's ATM. To spend excessively he can he can spend 1.5 million on drinks that's the kind of family the first couple is the second couple the wife is the one taking care of the husband but yet the husband is still irresponsible the husband will go out there carry a show carry side chicks and he will give them his own atm card which the wife is the one that is funding will give it to them to use it and, and buy and shy <laughs> The third couple, the husband is mentally unstable. Not like he's, he's, he's a lunatic, but yeah, let me just say he's a lunatic because in a minute, he, he might want to beat up his wife, like being aggressive, being abusive, husband, you know, cursing and saying all sorts of stuff like that to his wife. And then in the next seconds, he'll just come down and be like, hey, baby, uh uh. You are the one that is making me shout at you. You know I love you. Let's go upstairs. You know <laughs> the kind of family that the third couple is. Now the fourth couple. Hmm. That one is very nice. The wife is overly jealous. Like she believes her husband is cheating, and then she she she's always after him. She be trailing him on bike, trailing him everywhere just to just to be able to catch him red-handed. So that's just what the story revolves around. Um, 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 um the the title of the movie Agameta, I don't really see any link with the way the storyline is going. I don't know because this movie has a concluding part, which is the part two. I'm assuming that in part two everything might sink one way or the other but so far in this first part the agameta story does not really reflect it doesn't there's nothing even correlating if i would give this movie a title i'll give it three irresponsible <laughs> husband <laughs> but although it doesn't really mean that um the title of the movie has to literally go but at least there should be something that will correlate that will link them together up to the end of this part one and the cast performance is very very dope especially from Ronke Odu Sonya Adonia Day and then um, all other known faces that um that played a, a specific role in this movie their performance was very nice like especially that Ronke Odu Sonya <laughs> Ronke Odu Sonya performed very well Adonia Day also performed very well but I'm kind of having issues with the acting and the performance of the husband Except the last husband that the wife is overly jealous, that is always is a known face. So um, they really did that place very. They he really acted his own part very well. But the first husband, Adonai Ade's husband, Uncle Dusan's husband, and that husband that uh, the two love bed that uh, they now turn enemy and you can't predict him. Their acting was somehow dull. It could have been better. They tried, they tried, they tried, especially the drunk scene. I don't know the husband, the drunk scene, the they try, but all I'm saying is I didn't really feel their acting. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. But but, but they try, but it, it could have just been better. It could have been better. And then I, I assume probably it's because because it's like I'm seeing them for the first time in Yoruba movie. I watch a lot of movies, or maybe I don't really recognize them. The music used in the movie is is nice. The music is nice. It's just that it became boring along the line. I got meta, you know, stuff like that. The music became boring. And then also the directing is very good. Just that uh, in one of the scenes where Adunia Ade went to see her sister, Ronke Odosanya, in her shop, I was seeing Boom Mike coming into Adunia Day see you like the booms. The editor could have just removed that. Uh, but overall the, the movie is really nice. But up to the end of this part one, no, I don't really understand what is the center idea of this movie. 
you know, the story is about four different couples, and now they are linking them together in the sense that the three couples are friends, and Adonia Day is younger sister, it's like younger, or maybe the, or like younger sister to, to Ronkyo Dusonya. And also, <clears throat> there was this part where a girl came to buy stuff from Ronkyo Dusonya's shop, and then she was like, there's no more, the, the ATM is saying that insufficient fund. Then she just call her husband and like, hello, ah, but me saying the one yeah, I'm afraid I'm concerned, but ATM yeah, so insufficient fund. Let me to send the money. And then she dropped the call and she's like, okay, don't worry, the husband will send the money now. Like you didn't tell him how much, how much is the money? The husband said no, so it was obvious that it was a fake call there. But anyway, anyway, the movie is very nice to watch. It's very entertaining. Especially those couples that are jealous and trailing one another is very, very entertaining. And then, um, but as we wait for the concluding part, I hope the concluding part is going to shed more light on the link on everything about this story. Because this part one, don't really feel it too much, but it's, it's entertaining. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video.